Hey guys, what is up? It's your boy Harmnon back again with a brand new video. Oh my god, I couldn't imagine. Hey boys, it's Harmnon. Today, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Since the contract DLC came out a couple of weeks ago, I've got quite a few requests to try to take one of the new cars that has the RC function and make it as discreet as possible so that you can use the RC mode and troll people as effectively as possible and then go back to blending in with your surroundings. So guys, that is gonna be our challenge today. As you can see, my Enos Jubilee is done in a very, very bright blue. It's not exactly very discreet looking. So we're gonna to try to make this thing as sort of stealthy as possible so we can potentially do a bit of trolling in online. Anyway, let's hop in. So. We with the car, I'm not really, I'm not really too concerned about changing like mods exactly, like exhausts and stuff like that. Uh, may maybe we will change the exhaust to something that's not titanium. Uh, let's do the oval chrome exhaust. The bumpers, I don't really think it matters too much what the bumpers are looking like. I don't really think it's going to make all that much difference. So we'll just kind of leave that alone. We do want to keep the armor plating on this thing though, for sure, because if people that we're trolling do catch on to us, we want this thing to be able to tank some hits. So we've got to keep the armor plating. And of course the armor plating is probably the most uh, prominent feature of this vehicle right now. So we'll, we'll kind of just have to deal with that. Now we could change the hood back to stock, but honestly, I really don't feel like it's going to matter. So we'll just leave it alone. Now for the headlights, they are xenon right now but i think we should go with some stock headlights because i feel like they blend in with traffic a little bit better so we'll go for stock headlights now obviously you don't want to have a livery on this thing if you're trying to be you know sneaky so we're gonna just not put a livery on uh, for the plate i am gonna go for a white plate because i don't think that any cars actually drive around with the yellow on black plate so we'll go for the white plate just because now for the primary weapons on this thing that is going to be something that is going to be a little bit challenging to hide because it kind of puts a big hole in the grill uh so we'll just kind of have to leave that because we kind of need those uh we do have the slick mine dropper which doesn't really affect us at all so we'll just keep that too now for the color of this thing i was thinking about like what is the most like discreet looking color and honestly i feel like black is going to be the best bet because it kind of hides the armor plating on the sides of this thing pretty decently it's not perfect but it's it's pretty decent so we're gonna go with a double metallic black for the color of the car and the pearlescent i think we should probably just go for a black make this thing look kind of kind of regular you know it, it's pretty it's pretty dark man it's it's kind of hard to see that armor plating so that's that's what we want that's good now for the skirts i mean it really doesn't matter like it's not gonna affect the car really we'll just leave that alone we will keep the spoiler on this thing though for sure because of the added uh traction and everything and like it literally doesn't change anything so we'll keep that uh, competition suspension so it handles well let's let's do that now for the wheels the chrome is definitely going to be something that's going to catch people's eyes so i think we got to change the rims to something a little bit more stealthy like the concave mega mesh rims they're they're pretty black so i feel like people might not really notice them too much uh the tires let's not put a tire design on i think that goes without saying tire smoke you're going to want to leave that as white just in case because obviously if you have like, I don't know, pink tire smoke, that's, you know, the AI don't just drive around with that. So, you know, um, and of course we're going to tint the windows all the way out, which these already are, because we want to, uh, we want to try to conceal the fact that there's no one driving the car, um, as best as we can. So the blacked out window tint should help with that. I think this is as good as it's going to get. Let's take this thing outside and just see how it looks. It is dark in GTA right now. So it is, uh... It is going to be pretty hard to distinguish this car. Now, obviously, the AI don't drive the Enos Jubilee, so that's going to be a problem that you're going to have no matter what. Um, that's going to be a problem you're going to have with any of the new vehicles that have the Imani Tech and the remote control mode. So you just kind of hooped for that, man. Like you, you can't really do anything about that. However, if you do paint your car in a pretty subtle color like this black, um, and especially if you're trolling at night, we're using the RC mode at night. Uh, the black will definitely help the most with that. Another thing you can do if you're trying to troll uh, is just turn the headlights off. It's gonna make your car a lot harder to spot, but they will know that it's you. So it's, you know, kind of a thing, you know, it, it might help you, it might, it might hinder you. It depends on the situation entirely. However, this thing is looking pretty stealthy. So, you know, if you're getting chased, you could probably duck into somewhere that's, you know, pretty dark, like over here. Probably duck in here pretty quickly, and they're going to have a, you know, hard-ish time spotting you. Let's hop out of the car for a sec. Let's see. Oh, yeah, I mean, 
Like, if you were flying past here, looking for somebody, like, you probably, you probably wouldn't really notice that car too much. I, I feel like, I feel like we did a pretty good job with, uh, with making this thing look, you know, pretty stealthy. Obviously, you're never gonna be able to get, like, 100%, you know, like, it's not like you can make the car invisible, right? But I feel like this is, this is pretty much as good as you can get. So, I don't know, it's, it's, I, f I feel like I didn't really say anything too profound here. Uh, just make the car a dark color and try to make it just easily hideable, I guess. Yeah, that's, that's really all I got for you guys. Uh, if you guys can think of anything else in the comments that, you know, somebody could do to a car to try to hide it a little bit better, let everyone know, man. The only thing that I would say is maybe if you use the Buffalo STX, you could maybe sort of get away with making it look like a regular Buffalo, but at the same time, anyone with like eyes is probably going to recognize that it's an STX and not the regular Buffalo, especially if they already have been killed by it and they're looking for that car. So it could potentially help you if you get the right spawn set and everything like if you get the buffalo spawn set and you drive the stx around to do your your remote control uh trolling or griefing or whatever you're doing it could maybe help but i i can't really see it at the same time so but at the same time i mean i'm driving a jubilee which like it literally there's no car that even like really looks like this so it's kind of a hard thing to achieve but you guys can uh, you guys can give it your best shot for sure definitely use some of the tips that i said like use regular headlights not xenon um, that will definitely help a little bit, I feel like. And yeah, just make your car as dark as possible, really. I, I think that's pretty much all we can do, boys. Anyway, guys, I think that's pretty much it for the video. If this helped you out or if you learned something, leave a like, I guess. A uh, dislike if you didn't. Subscribe if you guys are new. And I will see you all in the next video. Until then, take care. Peace.